I'd like to talk about my painting called Hippo Light. As you can see in the painting, there is a large hippopotamus, otherwise known as William, which I acquired from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. And there's also a smaller reproduction of the hippopotamus acquired from the same location. In addition to the hippos, we can see some paperweights, a glass beaded necklace, which is overlapping the smaller of the two hippos, some small glass bubbles, a paperweight, and a seashell. Now to tell you a little bit about the painting itself. After I completed the painting, I started to notice a few things that I hadn't paid attention to before. Originally, this painting was meant to express or describe what happened to light as it passed through transparent objects like this paperweight and it reflected off the golden flecks inside the paperweight. The patterns that were created by the shadows as the light passed over and through the object. But then I started to notice something else that was quite interesting. We have relationships that are established in this painting, such as the larger hippo and the baby hippo. As you can see, the smaller of the hippos is draped underneath a glass beaded necklace. Now back in Africa, these necklaces are used to advertise the availability of the young women in their tribes to let their suitors know that they are available for marriage. So perhaps this relationship between the two hippos is talking about the parent offering up their child for matrimony. The second thing that I became aware of is the presence of these paperweights. Obviously I painted them, so I was quite aware of them. However, what do the paperweights represent in regards to the hippos? The paperweights offer a protected shelter for the colors and the objects and the forms that are residing within the paperweights themselves. The protective form or shell of the glass provides the viewer with an entry point, a visual entry point, to explore the, say in this case, the golden flecks that are on the surface, the little caverns that you can enter visually, uh, or these little florals that are in this paperweight. These little glass bubbles are little worlds in unto themselves. But when we get to the shell, the shell has something else in common. The shell offers a protective enclosure for what may have existed inside the shell itself. It may have been a crab or it could have been a snail. Um, so I see a lot of different relationships that are taking place within this composition that I created. And it only became apparent after I looked at it for a while and meditated and thought to myself, what on earth is going on here? Why did I choose these objects to inhabit this space? Yes, it began as an exploration of light and shadows and composition, but it also ended up telling multiple stories. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of this painting, and I promise to tell you more about paintings that I have done uh, in the future and more about my paintings as I create them as well. So I hope you stay with me and I hope you enjoyed my explanations. Thanks for your time. Bye.